Today I'll show you how to make margarita cocktail. Hi guys, my name is Isis from Miami to the world. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you three amazing variations how you can make a world famous and very well known cocktail margarita. I believe we won't find any person on earth who don't know this cocktail because it's really great, it's tequila based, it has salt, sour, sweet and it's really an amazing drink for summer. Margarita's origins are unknown like most cocktails, we have a lot of speculations and a lot of myths and theories and none of them can be confirmed or if you have some certainty Please let me know in the comments below because I would really love to know and I believe many other spectators of my videos would like to know the real origins of margarita. So there is some speculations but this cocktail appears somewhere around 1930s, 20s, 40s. There is a lot of speculation about that too because you know we have a recipe for margarita today. But it doesn't mean that it was exactly exactly the same like 100 years ago when it was created. So we don't know what is true in most the cocktails. But the most amazing thing is that we still have this amazing cocktail and we can make it in many different variations. And I'll show you three of them today. First variation is going to be very very classic margarita and I'm going to make it in this coupette glass even the real margarita glass that is like uh, supposed to be a real margarita glass is a little bit different it has a bit different shape here but it's the most look like this glass and margarita cocktail could or could not be served with a rim of salt but I like margarita with salt so I'm going to put a bit salt of, on the rim of this glass. For that we will need a fresh lime and I'm going to wet this glass with lime juice. I'm going to do just half of the glass because I want to leave other half empty of the salt. Because if I don't know if customer likes salt or not, so I'm giving him a choice. Of course I could ask, but if I'm in the service bar or somewhere else where I can't talk to customer directly or if customer wants both experiences so the best way is to do half and half until you certainly know what your customer likes and I'm going to put this part in the salt and look I have amazingly salted half rim I like wide rim if you like just on the top it's totally fine but for me, like that, it's much nice. All right, enough with the glass. Let's start with a cocktail. We'll be using a shaker. And the first, our ingredient is good tequila. I always like, love, or I always want to use 100% agave tequila because it tastes better and its quality is really much better. I'm going to use two ounces of good quality tequila the white one so it's not aged in any oak barrel or it's aged just a little bit and actually Herdura tequila ages 45 days this silver tequila in the barrel but it's still light like we have light rum who is still aged but it's still light so tequila is the same Another ingredient is fresh lime juice. Use only fresh fruits if you can, if you're somewhere where you can't, yeah, sorry for you, but always fresh fruits. And we are going to use one ounce of fresh lime juice. In the shaker. And we're going to use Triple sec, I'm going to use one marnier and some of uh, people call it Cadillac Margarita but for me Grand Marnier is still a triple sec. Triple sec is an orange liqueur so that's what I prefer like any orange liqueur and I use two thirds of an ounce. And the last ingredient 
sugar syrup. Classic way doesn't contain sugar syrup, it's only orange triple sec liqueur, but I like my margarita to be a little bit sweeter, so I'm going to use one third of an ounce of one to one ratio sugar syrup. And if you would like to know how to make sugar syrup, you can check this link right here and find out the best way how to make your sugar syrup. And of course, love, passion, energy, and ice. And let's give it a good shake. We need some good music for that. amazing shaking technique so check out this link Whew. it was a great answer I'm not chilling this glass because I don't want my salt to get on all of the glass but if you want you can chill but I shake this cocktail really good so it will be really 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 cold And we are going to garnish this cocktail with nice lime wheel. It's very nice garnished. Look, salty rim, lime, and if customer don't want to salt on any of this glass, so he could just move the slime and take the salt out of the glass. Cheers guys! Second our margarita version today is going to be an iconic new classic Tommy's margarita and the difference between regular margarita and Tommy's margarita is that Tommy's margarita doesn't use any triple sec or orange liqueur and instead of that it uses agave nectar and it's a new classic as I mentioned because it was created in 1990s and with new classics it's a little bit easier because those stories are less cloudy because we know more certain who invented them and this cocktail was invented in San Francisco in 1919 by Julio Del Mayo, the guy who was working in his parents restaurant called Tommy's so this story is a bit more clear and this version is really amazing as well let's do it together guys I'm going to use this kind of glass and I'm going to make a salty rim as well. I'm going to wet the glass and put it into the salt. We have a nice half of the glass of salty rim and we are going to make a cocktail into the shaker again. First our ingredient is of course 100% the agave tequila. The white one, I'm going to use 2 ounces of it. Another ingredient is going to be lime juice, a half that measure, so it's 1 ounce. And agave, we are going to use half ounce of agave nectar. I think it's enough. Full glass of ice and love, passion, and energy. And a good shake. Gross. We're going to strain it. I'm going to strain it. And this time I want to garnish it a bit different, so I'll make a lime, but I'll make, make it a little bit different. That, just like a moon shape, and I cut it here a bit. I'm putting it on the rim, and we have an amazing Tommy's margarita. Cheers!
Third version of our margarita today is going to be a spicy one. And for that reason, I have this nice jalapeno pepper. And we are going to do everything in the rock glass. Just this time, I'm going to make salt on the wall, not on the edge. Look, I'm going to wet a line on the wall and put a salt on it so it looks nice it's a bit different of course it's more for look because i don't believe the customer is going to lick it like that but you know if customer wants let's go be, be my guest welcome and put this glass aside because we are going to mix everything in the shaker let's put some ice and let's do it this cocktail. First ingredient will be jalapeno pepper. I'm going to put two slices because it's not usually so spicy on the top. It's got spicier here. So if you are using the top, so you might need to use a little bit more of this pepper. And if you're using this part, you should use a little bit less to get the same spice. So the pepper is in there. Now we're going to pour two ounces of good 100% agave tequila. And we're going to muddle everything for a bit. Just to get the chili pepper into the tequila to extract the flavors and spiciness. You don't need to muddle it and smash it like a mashed potato and something because when we will be shaking the spiciness will get even more into the drink. And the second our ingredient is fresh lime again. Margarita and fresh lime is two things that don't go separate. We are going to use one ounce of fresh lime. and into the shaker. Now, triple sec orange flavor liqueur, I'm using Grand Marnier, two thirds of an ounce, and one to one ratio sugar syrup, one third of an ounce. Everything is in there. I'm straining water if there is some, or oh, which time we have, and I'm going to give it a great shape full of love, energy and passion. Nicely shaken, my hands are frozen and we're going to pour everything in the glass on the rocks or actually on one big nice clear ice rock for mixology ice. And let's drain everything. This time we're going to garnish it with dehydrated lime wheel and a piece of jalapeno pepper on the top. Here you go. Spicy margarita. Cheers guys. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you got inspired to create your own drink to try some amazing variations of margarita. And if you have some other uh, variations, and I believe you do, please share in the comments below. Tell me your experience if you were tasting some amazing variation in the bar or if you are a bartender and have some other amazing variation of margarita. So please definitely share it in the comments because I would really love to know. And I love you very much guys, please support me, hit the button subscribe, like my video, share with your friends and I'll share more of my experience, my positive vibes, my love, energy and passion with you and I'll see you in next video. Today we are going to make some drinks. Doo -doo -doo -doo.